Top bad swimmers had defied the odds and have made it to the beach and have left the enemy a gift. Once ashore, the frog, the frog men, as they've done so here, place their charges on the obstacles. The field of charges can be linked together with detonation cord to allow simultaneous detonation or detonated separately using a predetermined length of time fuse. Despite bad weather, strong currents, and fierce opposition from enemy forces, the combat swimmers accomplished their crucial mission and ensured the successful landing of Allied forces. During the D-Day invasion in Normandy, casualties on the beach were extremely high. At Utah Beach, 30% of the men were wounded, while at Omaha Beach, 70% became casualties. Each NCDU men and two scout and Raider men were awarded the Navy Cross for valor for their actions on D-Day. If you'll notice now, the boats are approaching to conduct a swimmer recovery. After the swimmers secured their charges, they returned to the sea. They were recovered from the water using a UDT sling method. Waiting on line, the UDT men would be snagged and quickly pulled up into the rubber boat, as you see here, by a sling man and the recovery craft as they swept by. Often the beach would be unapproachable by the recovery craft, and the exhausted swimmers were forced to swim back out to sea over the reefs where their small boats could meet them. Again, the swimmers would normally be recovered on the seaward side of the boat to protect to provide cover and concealment from enemy fire.